In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a standard UK plug top. Is this something that you can do? Yes, 110%. Just like man can cook his own steak or mow his lawn, man should also be able to wire his own plug. And as you haven't got to isolate any electricity and you need the bare minimum hand tools, you can't lose. So I'm going to swivel around now and show you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to be uh, using this plug top to attach to this cable, um, which is on a jet washer that I've got. Um, I've previously snipped the plug off. This one's uh, seen better days. The pins on it are knackered, so it's very difficult to get into a socket outlet. Now, I know they're not the same colour, but uh, as it's my appliance, I really don't mind. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to loosen this screw here, which will gain you entry to the plug. Like so. Uh, the screw shouldn't fall out. Um, it actually holds in place, but if yours does, it's a good idea to put it in place with the cover. You'll be coming back to that later. And the next thing you need to do, this here holds the cable in place. It's a grip and that's held in by two screws here. So if you undo these, these will fall out so make sure you put them somewhere safe okay you now have to strip the wire and um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use my cutters you can use the knife if you want uh, if you'd rather rest it down and just score along but I'm going to be using my cutters which is fine and I'm going to score it very carefully making sure that I don't damage the actual wires inside I take my time with it, there's no need to rush. I've scored it enough, and I can now break it away. Just like that. Freeing the cores. You can see I've not damaged any of them. Okay, now that I've stripped the cable, I've put it into the plug and clamped it down. It's important that the clamp is tight, not too tight, but tight enough that this cable is never going to come out and possibly uh, yank and pull the conductors out of their terminals because that would be a fire risk and it's also important that you actually clamp on the sheathing and not the bare insulation as this can damage the cables as well right now which wire goes where um you've got the brown wire which is the live conductor the blue which is the neutral conductor and the green and yellow which is the earth conductor i've actually made a note of the colors of the wires and what they represent so i'll put brown equals live l blue equals neutral n green slash yellow equals earth e just in case you forget you can have it by your side and something to refer to i've also drawn out um the terminals on the plug so they match what I'm looking at so I can just have a quick glance okay now we'll connect it up um, so I'm going to remove the fuse quickly so it's not in the way doesn't matter which wire you start with but just I always start with the earth so I'm going to uh, cut that to length um, a lot of people make a mistake because they try and do the wire as short as possible and then it makes it difficult to actually terminate it into the terminal so the actual trick is to use the slack and shape it there's loads of room it might be difficult on your first try it is fiddly but don't be tempted to cut it as short as possible for the neatest result use the slack push it back shape it so here we go I'm going to strip it back probably about 10 mil not too much 
not too much um, stripping it back. You want it to nicely sit in the terminal. So now I'm going to undo the screw and I'm going to poke it in. If you struggle, you can push the pin out like that. Pop it in. So push it back down. Screw it up. that give it a quick tug yep it's in right now we'll do the neutral again use the length okay so I've shaped it I've got enough there we go remember it is fiddly Shape it, yep. And that's that in. Quick tug, yep, in nice and tight. And finally, the live, once again, using the space, I've got plenty of it. Shape it so I've got enough length. I've not actually had to strip any back this time around. I've actually managed to use the whole length and make it easy for myself. Now, the brown one is can be the most trickiest. Just take your time. And don't panic. There's no rush. And it's in. Okay, I'll put the fuse back in. And that's the finished result. The final thing to do is to put the cover back on. So it simply just goes on there. So, screw this up, and final screw, and there you have one 13 amp plug terminated and ready to use.